Have you ever had a hard time filling up a stubborn water balloon? For years, there's been a similar problem involved when trying to fit artificial proteins into cells. Animal cells have cell membranes, which, like a balloon, won't let most mo artificial molecules or proteins through. This membrane is made of large macromolecules floating in a fluid layer, almost like a pond full of cranberries. In the past, researchers have gotten their synthetic compounds into the cells with intrusive methods such as direct injection or using viruses with genetic material, which makes the cells synthesize these compounds themselves. These disrupt the cell and just aren't ideal, however. You've probably seen how when you squeeze a balloon with your hands, the surface stretches out and gets lighter in color. Similarly, researchers at MIT have found that squeezing a cell through a small channel can separate the, these macromolecules in the membrane so that other compounds can fit through. The team, led by Klaus Jensen and Robert Wanger, was able to get large molecules into cells with success rates 10